Hello everyone. This video is going to take a Western digital hard drive as an example to talk about how to swap the Western digital hard drive PCB board. This is the damaged PCB board. Let us make a basic analysis of the PCB board. It will help us to understand what the problem is and find a solution to fix the problem. The first blue box on the PCB board is the power connector. The second blue box is the actuator connector. Actuator is the thing inside the hard drive to control the disk read right hand to move, to read the information from the disks. The third blue box is the main chip, also called CPU. The fourth is the I.O. control chip, control the hard drive, communicate with the computer. Five is the RAM used by the main CPU on the PCB board. The sixth is the motor connector. The seventh in the red circle is the motor IC. This IC drive or spin up the motor to make the disk spin. Uh, for this hard drive, this motor IC is burned. I enlarged the burn part of the PCB board. As you can see, not only the chip, but the PCB board is burned as well. So, if we want to replace the burn chip to fix the PCB board, it will be very difficult, and uh, it is unlikely to be successful. So, we decide to replace the whole PCB board. But how to replace the whole PCB board? Where to find a donor PCB board? Uh, the topic for the rest of the video. This picture shows a very important chip on the PCB board. We call this chip as PCB board firmware IC. Uh, some people call this chip as uh, PCB board BIOS IC. This is a memory chip. It holds uh, all the information on the PCB board. The rest of this video, we are going to talk about how to uh, transfer this chip information from the bad PCB board to a good PCB board. So to do the BIOS transfer first, after that we can do the PCB board swap. How to find a compatible donor PCB board for a hard drive? First. We are going to locate the hard drive model number as a reference number to search for the PCB board. The PCB board number for this model hard drive is as the picture shows. It reads as 2060-7013336-003. It is on the edge and the bottom part on the PCB board. But not all the PCB board number are at the same location. Some PCB board number on the edge of the board, some in the middle of the board, some are even inside of the board. You have to take off the board to find the PCB board number. If you want to find out what is your hard drive PCB board number is, you may go to uh, www.hddparts.com uh, to find out. You can input the model number as a reference to find a similar hard drive or same PCB board. And uh, there are lots of pictures to show where to find the board number so you can find out uh, what is your PC board number is. 
or you can uh, take pictures of your hard drive on the PCB board and uh, email the picture to us then we can tell you the where to find the board number and uh, what is the compatibility and how to find a donor board and our email address is uh, hddparts at gmail.com we are going to use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find a donor PCB board. First, we go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, we input the model number of the hard drive and the PCB board number. Then we click on search. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. 
but there are some hard drive PCB board do not need the BIOS transfer as long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards you can swap the boards directly the fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards if you have any questions such as how to find a donor board if your board need to do the BIOS transfer where is the BIOS of your PCB board how to swap your PCB board please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us we will give you the correct answer Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.